Alright guys, one more video. Um, I went back, I finished kind of like the upper upper section. I went back and replaced a couple. Uh, I've got so many of these steel bolts in various sizes. Uh, I went back and replaced a lot of the black uh, black metal bolts with these steel ones just because they look better. You don't have black black heads everywhere, you know, sh showing on the nice nice silver, you know, put the uh, swash plate uh, follower there. Yeah, I didn't notice, but this block that bolts on here, it's got these uh, servo, uh, I don't know, I guess it's just a support pin hole mounted to them, so that's kind of a neat way to do it. So all three servos have a support. Um, yeah, other than that, I didn't run into anything else. Um, I did, I did, let me see here, I did use, I don't have to flip it over. On the outer ones, I used silver, and then these, um, because they're longer, but they don't hit the servo, and the, uh, I didn't have enough of the, uh, the shorter bolts, so but they're uniform on both sides so it looks good and put the uh, collar on I kind of like this because it's easy to get to it's real easy to, to push everything and hold it and tighten that collar like it should like you need to be so you basically push a shaft down and push this against so you're, you're pinching it and you just uh, lock it down like any other collar there's a bevel on one side of this collar so it hits the inside of the bearing so just be careful when you're doing that. It did say spread a little blue Loctite on the inside of the collar and then of course your screw your bolt there, Loctite as well. Everything is real tight now. Uh, no more slop. That was just because you gotta put the top block. But everything uh, looks like it's got good uh, Good gear mesh. I, I, I saw somebody mention that it was quiet. Uh, I guess and that's just because of the angled gears and so we'll see. There's that follower or that tension. Yeah. All right. But uh, so far we moved on to the next one, and it's pretty much just the typical frame assembly, putting all the. Uh, the studs on for the uh, frame supports and the battery tray. Uh, put the canopy mount on the front and that one screw in there. Ah, focus. Ah, it's messing up. And that one screw there, and then the rest of it will just be fitting everything together, which is what I'm about to start on. But uh, until the next one, you guys have a good one. And if you guys have any questions, just send me a message, and uh, I'll try to respond. Like I said, uh, the only thing that I was a little confused on is that one uh, bolt size issue between the uh, servos, servo mounts, and the uh, center hub for the main gear. So, but uh, worked out better this way. I used my own bolts and stuff. So, but so far everything's uh, going together pretty quick. It's a nice design, well thought out. It's so easy just to get to everything. Oh, that's what I like about it. So, we'll see. Alright, you guys take it easy.